choice will be yours, whether to invest $2 billion in our state infrastructure. The governor signed off on a plan today to put a bond referendum on the primary ballot in March. WNCN's political reporter Bo Minnick taking a deeper look at the bond. And Bo, where would the money be used? Sharon, the UNC system would see the biggest portion of the money. Nearly half of it would go to renovations and improvements to buildings on campuses. So between now and March, supporters want to convince the voters. It's the people who decide this, not us in this room. It's our job to help educate the people. The governor has signed off, and now he hopes North Carolinians will sign off on a plan to invest $2 billion in our universities, community colleges, and in other areas like agriculture and the National Guard. We're a growing state. Uh, a growing state needs to make sure that, uh, that you uh, deal with, uh, with things that uh, are, are impacted uh, by that growth, and clearly infrastructure is one of those things. The plan is being called Connect NC. Supporters say the state should take advantage of interest rates while they're good. Nearly half of the $2 billion, about $980 million, would go to the UNC system. And investing in the UNC system, particularly here at NC State, is really about creating jobs. There, $85 million would go to a plant sciences research complex. In September, we profiled how some of the money would go to a new business school building at NC Central. The bond package has bipartisan support, though some Democrats say they would have liked to have seen more in the bond. Originally it was supposed to be a transportation bond. I would have liked to have seen more for our transportation infrastructure. It seems obvious, but uh, we're way behind with the uh, uh, upkeep of uh, lots of our roads and bridges. Although Representative Dwayne Hall, who you just heard from there, said he was very pleased with the investment in NC State. The state Democratic Party says it is calling on McCrory to keep the advertising for this bond campaign separate from any campaign that he will run for re-election. I'm Bo Minnick, WNCN News.